Hello everyone. We are listening to the Recruiting Revolution. For today's episode, we have a special guest joining us. Please welcome Vaishali Vishwakarma, Talent Acquisition Lead at Yellow.ai. Yellow.ai is an AI-powered customer experience automation platform that leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to automate customer interactions across various channels and provide businesses with chatbots and virtual assistant solution to enhance customer engagement and support. With over 1,100 plus enterprises, including Sony, Domino's, Sephora, Indigo, Coca-Cola, and Hyundai. Welcome, Vishali. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Nidhi, you know, for uh, giving an introduction about my company. And happy to be a part of Recruity, you know, in some or the other way. Uh, then, yeah. 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 You know, so Vishali, before we jump on, uh, just, you know, tell us a bit about your journey as a whole. Okay, cool. So, Aridhi, I started, you know, if I, if I tell about, you know, about my experience, you know, I'm, uh, I am started from Pune and I've always worked with startup companies, you know, with ID SaaS product based company. So, uh, for me, when it comes to the HR role, how I pick it up is, you know, through my internship. So, HR, I got an interest at that time, right, into talent acquisition, basically. So, uh, then, you know, after doing my internships, I basically from Bhopal, I MP, and then I, you know, after my internship, I moved to Pune. Uh, Pune, I started with talent acquisition or a recruiter role. And then I moved, you know, uh, slowly into a uh, startup world where I, you know, handle end-to-end things. So, it was a great experience, you know. Uh, you know, knowing uh, how the startup ecosystem looks like, you know, the kind of culture they have, the ecosystem, you know, the kind of, you know, connections we made. So startup was something, you know, now is, uh, you know, if I get an opportunity to work with or it's something, you know, you are very motivated when you work with startup. So I've worked with, you know, SaaS product with Promobi Technologies. After that, I moved to an online sales.ai, which is into an artificial intelligence uh, company and Again, the you know my uh, next project was in with uh, Uri so Again, that was into an AI chatbots, and then I landed up with a you know established you know well known uh, startup with the name Yellow.ai. So that's you know I have worked into an HR from end to end HR, and uh, then you know my interest came into talent acquisition. So talent acquisition uh, is you know I handle an end to end talent acquisition at Yellow. Uh, you know uh, basically here I take care of the end to end of growth team. So this is, has been the uh, journey, you know. That's 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 great. Uh, you know, I'll just quickly uh, jump on to the end-to-end part that you, you know, the hiring process which you mentioned. So would love to know, you know, uh, like there has been like a significant transformation in the hiring process, like since you joined the industry. You must have seen a, you know, uh, like a transformation, you know, in the hiring process. So what are some positive changes yes. that you've noticed so far? So Anidhi, talking about, you know, the positive changes, what I have noticed, uh, before, you know, it was uh, people wanted to work, right? They wanted to start the career for earning, right? And uh, the skill set, they was like, and we can start with it, right? But now there has been change. People look to so many things. The kind of company, the kind of growth they are going to get, you know, the kind of skill set, uh, you know, what they're going to achieve. Uh, and and it's a vice versa. Like the companies also are very focused now. What kind of, you know, candidates they want and what kind of a growth we can give it to the, uh, you know, the candidates or the members. This has been an overall 360 degree, I would say, you know, you have to take care of their uh, personal goals, their progression path, their performance, you know, then their mental well-being, right? Then, uh, you know, so it has been a very tremendous change what I has got, right? And, uh, you know, that's a good thing, you know, that's a good thing for us, you know, when empl- the candidates ask these questions, we know that, you know, that candidate is genuinely interested into, you know, working with the yeah. company and he's very aware. He's confident, you know, he has done that research. So that there's a really great change. And there's going to be more for change which are going to come into the, into this talent acquisition industry. Absolutely. Like, I'm 100% with you. You know, now that we have, mm-hmm. we have, we've talked about the awareness that the candidates nowadays have. So, you know... How do you yeah. ensure, like, you know, there is transparency in the hiring process because you are into talent acquisition and, you know, right. how, how do we ensure that? Okay. So, one thing is, uh, you know, before when you start with transparency, right, the important thing is, you know, you have to be yourself clear with what it is, how it is, right? What you're doing, are you clear with that, right? Are you confident in what you're going to do is, right? 
so when it comes to transparency how we maintain there it's very important to have a very structured process right with structured process it's important to have the you know the competency what you need to check on you the disciplines you know what you know like when you and the talent acquisition role is something you know where for you it's important to make all these process set up for the hiring members what they need to check so you have to train them also how many rounds are going to be there what you need to check on right and then what is the expectation you know from the candidates point of view from the company's point of view so it's important to know about the role what you're hiring for it's important to know about your uh, you know your hiring team or your company's expectation it's important to know about your candidates or the candidate who is applied his or her expectation so there has to be a proper notes you know i would say you know these are the small small things but it's important to have those you know pointers when you introduce someone right so uh, you know to have those pointers when you you know introducing to your hiring team for the interview it's important to know about the candidate you know in thorough they you know like what they are looking for and you have to grill them transparency only comes in when you want to you know uh, ask them questions and your discussion needs to you know you know now the interviews are not more of your that's not you know it's more of discussion you interacting with your candidate and you're making the trapo the trapo starts from there and being into a talent acquisition or an hr you are a face of the company you know the person the candidate knows the company by your name by your face by your interaction what they remember right so it's very important for you to you know have that uh, you know clear crisp communication within the team within the with the candidates you know so that's that's very important so, you know having a standard process a uh, very clear with what are the hiring teams clear with what you know the competency are going to you're going to check on on respective roles you need to be very clear with the growth path what you're going to have for that particular role that is very important and uh, yeah i think these uh, you know these are the transparency or the processes which is important for you to have yeah that is true you know also like uh, like we've talked about the hiring process so uh, what hiring what kind of hiring process like does yellow ai has like what is the the whole process that you follow here okay so at yellow uh, you know we uh, hire you know we keep on uh, you know uh, like making the things how we can make it more structured and make things so currently you know we have it that uh, for you know the hiring thing the important thing is you know what kind of marketing and branding you're doing company uh, especially for startups it's very important you know to have that marketing and branding because you know then that's a challenge for the recruiters or the for the talent acquisition to hire especially for the startups right so uh, we make sure that we have a good marketing and branding for our company we do have contents going out every day some of the new things coming in right so we get a good inflow of uh, you know from there we get a good inflow of uh, candidates then next thing is you know uh, is uh, the social media right so we use linkedin linkedin being one you know definitely we have used nokri bigshift other platforms as well but linkedin plays a very important role uh, you know into talent acquisition uh, you know uh, role uh where we for us it's kind of a bible you know our ats with us and uh, our linkedin right yeah. so uh, we get responses through that then we do head hunting you know uh, if we have a target set of companies what we need to you know from where we need to hire uh we have a referral program what we have yeah. so yeah. there that's how the inflow comes up the profiles then the first process goes in you know do they doing the screening of the uh, you know profiles so once the profiles are screened then uh, you know for few roles uh, we we make sure you know in starting for one or two batches we give it to the hiring manager for a shortlisting so that he knows it what kind of profiles coming in and either you know the talent acquisition as well as the hiring manager is on the same page right then coming up you know having the screening round which the hr uh, you know ta team yeah. uh, does it you know with the candidate uh, doing that you know uh, screening seeing to the fitment you know is that person fit into the role the compensation the uh, you know the uh, the expectation uh, what he is looking at seeing from all those parameters you know we send it for the next round which happens with the hiring team so with the hiring team it's been predefined okay the first round will be taken by a key set of uh, hiring uh, member and it's a second round is going to take from this yeah that has been the competency and the hiring team has already been decided right so that's how the process goes in 
then coming okay. up you know it's we have divided like this a junior role or a mid level role so either these roles are going to go to the you know the chro or to the directors or you know to the co-founders yeah. and if it is a senior role accordingly that process you know keeps on adding so that is the process we follow god it's got the whole chest you know uh, yeah, yeah so you know just moving on with uh, with another question that i had regarding you know we talked about the competencies and the tools that you know nowadays there are n number of tools that you know companies are using like every other day there is one new tool you know coming to the market so you know with the Correct. range Sorry. range of tools and software available you know in the hiring so how do you determine the most suitable ones that you know that you need as per your needs got it one thing is you know uh, we we see how much it's you know uh, user friendly that's something you know uh, we look into it so when it comes to the user friendly you know it should not have so many you know tabs going here they are doing this and that uh, it's more of it should be very simple and clear you know that it's very easy to use that you know it should be user friendly then the kind of reports data you know we can see the analytics the data directly from there then uh, you know small small things you know the kind of you know we uh, either how we can set up the invite from there it should not be you know using 100 tools to get connected to one tool right so we want one place we get everything and it's easier to use that is how we use you know the uh, things apart from this you know if we face any kind of um, issue in using the ats so it's important for us you know so that the, the customer uh, what again it comes you know uh if we are taking some products so that customer service or customer success should be very easily available we have seen that you know you can drop a email you have to raise a ticket then the ticket is going to raise then i understand every company has their own process and things to follow but this is something which we look at yeah. you know how you know easy it is to uh, you know get the database there how e- easy it is you know if we face any kind of issue how easily the customer service or the customer success team is available and how easy that to you know the product is to learn or you know to understand that is what we look at okay you forgot then you know because yeah. the companies of the ap been used by the hiring teams as well yeah. to put the feedback they will only use to visit you know to see the uh, resume to see the yeah. feedback yeah. or move it to the other process that is how so it has to be very user friendly what i would uh, say and also how do you manage that you know each and every hiring manager is you know able to use that software do you take up like do you take trainings or is that like you just go to, to the hiring managers and you know give a little demo there itself or is it a whole training together we uh, do give it an ats training uh, to them so yeah. only what happen is it, uh, and um, like if there had been because what happen is you know they don't use it on very regular basis so we make sure at least you know uh, if the hiring is coming in most of the you know members start using it so they get used to it but we make sure to give them a proper training at once ki how the ats works where you will get the feedback how and still you know they reach out to us when uh, you know they have to uh, have interviews have to the feedback they reach out to us so we be available at that time telling ki acha aapko yahan pe mil jayega here you can approve the requisition here you can approve the role or all those things so we give them on a regular basis you know when as and when they require it got it got the whole idea sure. uh you know coming to our almost last question how should like a t- talent acquisition leader prepare themselves for future like are there any steps or are there any things that you make sure that you do regularly or maybe how do you make self you yourself uh prepare for the future yeah be up to the market do your research be you know up to date as to what is happening in the market how things are changing you know be close to your competitors you know what is happening into their world in the, into their ecosystem uh understand you know what each role uh, is you know getting into what is a growth path so it's very important to have you know your own research of all those things if you are up to the market for you it's easier and every step you know because as a talent acquisition your role is not only you know to answer you know ask few set of questions acha what is the role what is your expectation current notice no at this moment there are times you have to act as a you know career guidance to your candidates you know okay fine you are into this role you can get into this kind of a role so you have to be very you know you should be very thorough and up to date with all the roles how is the market if you are into a saas world to understand ki how things happen how the future is going to be right 
what kind of fly you know candidates we been you know uh, hiring what are the skill set which is in demand you know then uh, you know what kind of your competitors are looking at right what they want so all those things you have to be up to the market uh, you know up to date with the market how the things are going on that's the only thing you know how the talent acquisition can be prepared on but to understand how you know those tax things are working you know how at least you are basic should you should have that basic idea about it ke acha when you're negotiating you can negotiate with them right uh, so these are the things you have to be prepared you know for future because future is going to be more with you know the skill set the expectation the growth path you know there are times you have to you know convince or you no know, i won't say convince but you have to guide the candidate you know you have to understand what they are looking at what they want all this you know so you have to be prepared for uh, these kind of things uh, for future for us it's very important to you know have our very strong connections right connections are very strong you have to have connections within the industry you know with the candidates there are times when the candidate has not been but you have to be in touch you know have that repo with your candidates that's very important you know we greatly great appreciate your participation and it has been really pleasure speaking with you so thank you so much for joining us same here same here nidhi would be happy to come again if something is there right in yeah. future yeah bye bye take bye